How do you and the entire team struggle to do nothing for five minutes while they need five people to kill me in the side? Well, we could vote of you and talk about it. We did struggle to get objectives and it was very difficult, blah, blah, blah. There was nothing to review. Okay, let's let YouTube be the judge of that. He played really well. And then I camped his lane right here. I wasn't a flash, but then I came over. We got another free gank because I, I matched it. He gets another kill right here. So it's steamrolling in his favor. But then once we got to the mid game, something started happening. And this Riven player doesn't realize. See, look, he's killing this guy over and over again. He's six and one. Baron spawning. We have all of their outers are gone except for middle. So we should be playing around middle trying to get picks. As a seven and one Riven, what should you be doing? You should be trying to get pressure, but you shouldn't overextend. We don't have any vision of their jungle. Look. We don't have any vision. We don't know where anyone is and see what this Riven player does, okay? He knows that he's got a 450 bounty lead. He kills these, this is good, taking their jungle. But then what does he do? He walks into the middle of their jungle without any vision. They're just waiting for him. They're just waiting. He hand delivered 450, $500 to their team, okay? I, I, you've seen this before, you know what happens. He's on vision the whole time. When you get a lead in this game, you, you need to pressure, but this is inting. This is dying without getting anything. We're not in a position to get to mid tower. We're not hitting mid tower. We're not on Baron yet. So this time that he's buying us by throwing his body and his extra cash at the enemy team is useless. He inted, okay? Talon got it, their jungler, and everyone got an assist. And guess what? They don't lose anything. We weren't on the map yet. He inted. Okay, next slide. I'm resetting top. Support's resetting bottom. Karthus is dead. Yon is top. He is currently in what seems like a one versus two. And he's in mid lane catching a wave, which is a cannon wave. He wants to kill this. What does he decide to do? Engage one versus four and die. And it goes to the Cassidy. He complained about the Cassidy scaling, but he hand delivered him 300 gold. Okay, he should. He still has a lead on Scion. He's got a, a two item lead and two levels. That's really good. He could put, get pressure with that. We've got a little bit of vision right here. I'm in base. Yone's in base. We're not pressuring middle yet. We're not hitting the tower. Our diagonal is not on their side of the map. We have two people not in on the map yet. What does our Riven decide to do? Watch what happens. He walks up and gets a flank on this guy with no vision of the bottom side, so Talon could be here. He gets this play, but guess what? And Cassidy gets to get a free teleport because guess what? He's got mid pushed, mid, ca mid is caught by Sivir, and he dies again for free. And guess who it goes to? Cassidy. And guess what? We weren't on the map. There's no objectives. It was a free fucking death. He completely entered it for the third time in a row. Okay, that's not fair. Let's keep watching. Let's go to right here. Let's see what happens here. Okay, we're gonna put the uh, the map cover on. We're gonna go to red. Okay, this is our team. Okay, this is what's going on. I'm bot lane farming Gromp. I will give him that. Honestly, I'm not a good jungler. I don't know how to balance pressure versus farming that well. In the mid game, I shouldn't be here. I should be with my team getting mid prile farming Raptors and playing around Baron. But let's watch the Riven, the Mr. I played perfect and everyone else is AFK. This guy misses his abilities and is now engaging on the support or the mid laner. Now, this time, in contrast to the other ones, we actually are in a diagonal right now, which means we're getting pressure on the map. We're meeting them halfway on the map. But still, you have to be careful of the fog of war. You don't know who could be here. Oh, guess what? Their jungler is here. Their support is here. This is the fourth fucking time this guy is just inting without vision or anyone being on the map with him. Let's play the clip forwards. Guess what happens? Kassan takes his escape. He all ins. And whoa, he burns flash and gets engaged on and dies. This time it goes to the support, but the whole fucking team hit him. He gave a kill to everybody for the fourth or fifth time. I don't even know at this point. Okay, maybe I'm being too cruel. Maybe, maybe I'm being a little too tight on this guy. You know, I was over here. Maybe if we were closer in mid lane, we'd be able to help him. Uh, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Okay, let's go to like, right. Okay, let's just, let's just play the clip forwards. Their top laner's dead. Our AD carry or bot laner's dead. Okay, let's play the clip forwards. I have to reset. There's nothing on the map. Baron's been swiped. So what does Riven do when we don't have any pressure on the map? Well, he goes into their base and he decides to engage on their support at their walls. Well, let me just pause right here. See, what you may not have realized is that if you go into the enemy jungle, sometimes the enemy is there. 
The enemy's fucking there! Okay, guess what happens at the end of this clip? He fucking dies! Okay, I'm ending the video. Thanks for watching. Hey, so we got a little angry there. That's okay, that happens to everybody. I just wanna make this clear as like a general point to the people that are actually watching this content, not to get mad, but to learn something. The whole point of this VOD review thing was to show that this Riven player added me, flamed me, and then said that there was no need to review. I'm not saying this guy is a bad person. It's very possible that he had a bad day. The main takeaway is, is that if you ever feel like there's no reason to review, then chances are you're not willing to look at your own mistakes and realize that there's somewhere to grow. Like he's not gonna learn from that game because he said, oh, those five people or those four other players were AFK. I played well, I had like 11 kills. But as you can see, there's a fucking bucket of things he could have done better. So when you're playing the game, don't blame the people that you're playing with, even if you are doing well. Just because you're carrying doesn't mean you're playing perfectly. And so we all need to live by that rule, me included. And um, yeah, so no, no toxicity, no bad blood, but self-awareness is everything. Good luck on your climb.